Do you need cash? Do you want to consolidate debt? Premier Credit can help. They provide quick and confidential loans for any reason. Their service is same day and most loans are approved within minutes. You can apply in person or by the phone. Their experienced and knowledgeable loan professionals will leave you feeling confident that your loan is being properly handled in a secure manner. Premier Credit can be reached at 225-667-8100 or you can email we say yes at premiercredit.com or stop by and spin the wheel at 139 Del Norte Avenue in Denham Springs. They're open Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and are a proud sponsor of Local Leaders, the podcast. Hi, it's Trisha Johnston, residential realtor with Ladder and Bloom with your real estate tip of the week. When you're buying a new home, biggest is not necessarily best. Here's what I mean. You may be drawn to the largest, most beautiful home in a subdivision, but you really should think carefully before buying it because when it's time to resell, that larger house may appeal to a smaller pool of buyers. So let's say you're looking for a $200,000 house It may be better to look in a subdivision where houses are selling for $200,000 and up rather than a subdivision where everything's selling for below $200,000. In general, the larger, more expensive houses in a subdivision will increase in value at a slower rate than the smaller houses in that same subdivision. Keeping that in mind, the reality is you're looking for a house that's the right fit for your particular situation. So if the largest house in a subdivision is exactly what you're looking for, then it may be the right house to buy, as long as you take everything into consideration before making that decision. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm Trisha Johnston with Ladder and Bloom, and I'll be back here next week with another real estate tip for you. So what do you do when you decide to open a business of an increasingly popular franchise? You fall in love with the owners, the concept, the product, and the branding. You get approval not only to buy the franchise, but be the first person or the first owners in the state of Louisiana to have a piece of that franchise. And in the middle of it, boom, pandemic. If you believe in your business, you move forward. If your fiance is Jimmy Miller, who does not go backwards, you move forward. And if you're Kelly Webster, who's a strong, proud female business owner with the very first AR workshop in the state of Louisiana, then you better believe you move forward. (laughs) Kelly's location in Baton Rouge adds to the over 150 nationwide locations. And today's episode is going to be all about this new concept that adds a a major twist to the old cork and canvas businesses you may be used to. We're going to talk about that and a lot more with this power couple. So with that, welcome Jimmy Miller and Kelly Webster to Local Leaders, the podcast. Man, that was, (laughs) wow. (laughs) You moved forward, baby. Is he talking about us? Exactly. Man. So you make it sound good. <laughs> I love wow. it. I love it. I told you you would. I love it. So with this episode, there's a lot I want to unpack with both of you. First, Miss Kelly Webster, I want to discuss how you first arrived at business ownership with Ale Workshop. So tell us a little bit about the company and uh, and how you came to find this franchise. Well, I um lived in Atlanta for about 20 years, moved over there in 2000 and um, just recently moved back this year. And we'll get into that, I'm sure, a little bit later. But um, so I lived in Atlanta for a while. There's about five of these around the Atlanta area. And a friend of mine went to a class for team building with her business and um, she made a pet bed, loved it, showed it to me, got a brochure. I loved it, went and did a class 
and really just fell in love with it and kind of, you know, forgot about it for a minute. Um, and then about a year later, um, it kind of came around again. She had her son's birthday party there, I think it was. Yep. And, um, and it came around again. And then Jimmy and I started talking about it. And I was like, you know what? Let I'm just going to investigate it just for fun. Let me just see. I love the concept. I love the products. It's it's stuff that I would actually put in my house. Let's just investigate it just for fun. And um, the, that was on, a I think, a Thursday. And then by that Sunday, I was like, I think we should do this. And he was like, let's do it. And then we decided, cool. to, we decided to move back home. She showed it to me. She goes, well, you know, what do you think about this? And I was like, again, just on the surface, obviously. And you know me. I mean, I'm. You know, she investigates, she's analytical, she's looking, you know, and I'm just looking at the service. All let's go, where are we gonna do it? Let's do it. That's it. Let's, yeah, sounds great. Let's go. And you, you were know, probably like, slow down. Yeah, well, we were, yeah, I mean, you know, that's, that's what I needed because I mean, and what, but really, once I kind of decided I wanted to do it, I knew right. we were gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, and um, there was nothing that, yeah, along the way that you know, the yeah. obstacles like anything else sure. right. you're trying to create or you're trying to open a business or trying to, uh, you know, uh, you know, with, with goals, you know, and there's always obstacles and not everybody's meant to have a business. Not everybody's meant to run a business and, uh, you know, or anything else for that matter. And you know what I'm saying? When you're trying to do something at that level and these obstacles start coming and then you face a few, and then if you don't move forward, then you weren't meant to have it. You know, right. and then that's how a lot of the process kind of weeds people out. Yeah, and, you know, know. and so in this whole process, regardless of the COVID thing or this move in and all, there's not been one thing. She has faced all kind of hurdles, but she has overcome. She's adapted. She's improvised. She's done whatever she's had, but nothing has stopped the process. Nothing ever stopped the process. And that's how we kind of knew that it was meant to be. So, Kelly, how how, um, you know, with business, one thing I notice is that when you someone told me a long time ago, if you got to think that hard about something, it's probably not the right decision. That's a that's pretty much a key. And it seems like you kind of knew pretty quickly that this is something you wanted to pursue. That is really a way that I just live my life in general with most decisions. I just decide. I feel like I follow my instincts, follow my gut. And um, I did that. And but really, the more I investigated it, the more I found out about it, you know, talk to the ownership and, the, you know, a lot of the folks at corporate and just everything that I found out was positive and, you know, was one more step toward, you know, I'm, I think this is something we could do that we would be the first one in Louisiana. I was like, you know, it just gave us an opportunity to both move back to our hometown Absolutely. and bring this to Baton Rouge, I was like, there's really not any signs telling us not to do this. Again, this started probably um, October of, you know, a couple of years ago. So, I mean, it's been about a year and a half ago, I would say. So, um, I mean, it feels like it was forever before we actually got, you know, to this point. But, um, well, and and there was a lot of uh, a lot of sort of speed bumps along the way with COVID and those sorts of things Mm -hmm. that (laughs) that really would would uh, would would kind of slow you down. But I in doing my research for uh, AR Workshop, which, you know, the from the first time I saw it, I thought, what a concept, what a great idea. Uh, The the business owners of AR Workshop are two females. Yes. Yes. These incredible like powerhouse females. Mm. They are dynamite. Yeah. And the interesting thing about these females is they they had an Etsy shop and they basically uh, would make items. They were designers. Mm -hmm. They would make items and they would put them on their Etsy shop. It became one of the most popular Etsy shops uh, probably in the world. Um, And they also had a blog. It was a do it yourself blog. And uh, and so they built that. They started somewhere and then they scaled it. And then it became, hmm, we you know, I wonder what would happen if we opened a store and and uh, wow, three years later, three yeah, years three later, yeah. hundred and fifty plus locations. That just goes to show you yeah. as far as their intensity, their attitude, and what they, and just they are just yeah, full on. Just let's do it. They're you know? di- yeah, but, they're dynamite. But they're dynamite. They yeah. really are. But it's it's but but they also keep it at a 
at a level that's you know it's uh it's it's manageable manageable without a doubt yeah and that's where the name comes from it's not from a gun no. it's, no, it's, <laughs> it's not. anderson it's rough yes. or the last names of the owners ar workshop is is obviously the first letter of those last names but it's funny because when you when i first saw it and i have a friend who owns a pawn shop when he first saw it he's like oh man they got a place to repair ARs. <laughs> right, <or> they, <laughs> yeah. exactly. so don't freak out exactly. if somebody exactly. starts yeah. bringing yeah. rifles yeah. in there they've had Several yep. people I've seen it online yep. say, "Oh, I thought it was yeah, I thought it was a new gun shop." Or we come do it, do it yourself. Uh, yeah, do yeah. It yourself assault rifles. <laughs> there you go. Well, you can put well, their name it. on it if nothing yeah, else. Right. Exactly. Paint we can paint exactly. their name on it. Yeah, exactly. that's right. Put it on so. There. Can- Tiffany Seacard with Home Key Mortgage combines the experience and knowledge you need to make your mortgage loan a smooth, stress-free process. Reach out to Tiffany for more information on the vast mortgage programs available in the Livingston Parish area. Tiffany Seacard of Home Key Mortgage, a proud sponsor of Local Leaders, the podcast. When when you decided, okay, you talked to Jimmy, and of course he's he's a, a positive person, and uh, and it made sense, and y'all decided this 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 is we're going to run with it. Um, you spoke, I would imagine, to the owners, and and did you do some training there, or kind of see how everything went? Tell me about that. Yeah, we did get to go to the flagship store in Pineville, North Carolina. He and I both went. We spent a week there met um, the majority of the corporate um, leadership team and um, got to kind of see how they set up what, you know, just the, corporate the, the corporate there. offices, which are really nice. Really um, nice. They've got a really nice setup, of course. And um, I mean, the whole team is, I, again, I mean, they're, I can't say enough. They're so available supportive. and supportive um, on top of, you know, all of the work that they're already doing to keep us current and to keep us, you know, with plenty of options with COVID, without COVID. I mean, we've got so many things to offer and that's because of them. But at the same time, they're so available. You know, they each gave out their cell phone numbers to all of us. I mean, you don't get that from the CEO of a company very often. And, um, you know, so we got, we really learned a lot, but mostly we got to, you know, just really spend some time with the people. And so their passion feeds our passion and it just really you know, led to. Yeah, I was blown away. And there's that word again. Every almost every episode when I talk to people that are that you know they're born business owners in a way, uh, the word passion comes out almost every episode. And I never I never ask for it. It just comes out, and that's really the key when you're running a business. In my opinion, is you've got to have some passion for it because you're going to work some long nights. You're gonna you know uh, there's nothing easy about owning a small business. So you gotta you gotta love what you're doing it's obvious i spent some time me and my wife went there uh last week spent some time with you and and all your great employees over there and and it seems like you're all passionate we we have a really great team i've been very lucky i have the greatest manager it just kismet that worked out perfectly the way that you know she and i were friends in high school and just timing in her life and mine it just worked out perfectly it could not be a better fit awesome so yeah we managed DIY type mm-hmm. of place for a little bit as well she's yeah, a, yeah she's an artist herself and so yeah it's artist. really it's um, it's been a, it's been i'm telling you like i said everything just falls into place there have just been no knock on wood no signs that we should not be doing this yeah <laughs> and her name is grace yeah her name is grace <laughs> Love that name. Yeah, grace yes. is amazing. well in and, and all of them yeah over there we're yeah. just very i was very impressed by that so you trained Yes. You find a location. Yes. Uh, you started to build build out. Yes. And then March hit. Yes, then March hit. And like many business owners, you found out, oh, businesses are shutting down. Everybody's got to yes. stay at home. You weren't even open yet. No. And you- <laughs> no, and we were already yeah, behind. <laughs> but we, yeah, but, but at the same time, it really, getting open and as we both agreed that we, you know, we weren't going to turn the lights on until everything was flawless and perfect. And it, it all hinged on the grand opening. Everything to that point mm-hmm. with the company and prep, getting you ready and helping and your everything, the whole process is the grand opening. Because once the grand opening happens, you've already, you have everything else in place 
to go to do the workshop. Everything should be perfect. And, uh, and it just kind of a couple times it, it just fell back a little bit, but at the time we felt like, you know, we didn't feel like we'd be ready at this point. So let's, mm -hmm. let's not, you know, let's, let's yeah. back it up till August. Let's back it up mm -hmm. to, you know, the next month. And then it really, and, and it kind of helped us out. Well, really. you only have one chance to yes, make that exactly. first impression. Exactly. That's it, and, uh, and so it's, it's good that, yeah. and, and I'll tell you, you go in there, you know, one of the things that impressed me most about your location and really about the company in general is the branding is yeah. top notch even down to the company colors yep. uh which are very it's a, a beautiful kind of tillish color aqua. It's and aqua. Uh, i'm a color guy yeah <laughs> i mean aqua, man, aqua. Uh, yeah beautiful <laughs> yeah. color yes, beautiful it color is. and it is. and uh and so even the the lighting you have some light i notice all this stuff believe it or not and the lighting that you have in the top it's it's kind of these can lights that are uh uh vintage yeah. and uh just sets the whole place off so uh, it, one of the most interesting things is you have a it's a rack where you would hang your aprons after you were done in the yeah. workshop and it's hammers that hold the aprons. I right. thought that was a cute yeah, thing. Really yeah. With aqua yeah. handles. With yeah. aqua handles. <laughs> yeah. That's right. All of that stuff is huge mm -hmm. and all of that makes a, a good details. impression. It's, it's the little, little details. details. Really. Because yeah. every time I go in there I see something different every mm -hmm. time, you know, because, you know, I'm not in there every day. Right. Obviously. And um, yeah. And, and they're forever changing, you know, putting up new uh, samples. We call samples, which is just basically, you know, a project, sure. you know, a sample of the project. And, uh, and they're always having new ones. And there's just, you know, and with the seasons and everything. And it's just it, to me, it just changes. And then I'll just notice something. You know, well, oh, that's so cool. Or a new retail piece mixed in with one of the uh, samples and just. I love it. Yeah. 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 And they really yeah. pay attention to it. Made an impression for me and uh, and my wife and I'm sure everybody that walks well, the in the environment. There. It's yeah. got to be, you know, if you're coming in there to create something, you have to have an environment that inspires creation. Right. That's right. You know, and so to me, it does. Well, and and I'll tell you one thing I noticed about you, too, is you bounce off of each other extremely well. Um, you, you, you know, sometimes when you when you get in business, if if, if you're a couple or whatever, uh, you, you don't want two people that think exactly alike, because then there is not any kind of <laughs> we <don't>. difference. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about that. Right. Right. Well, hey, all that we do on the important stuff, obviously, and it's yeah. all important. Don't get me wrong, but. I know what you're saying. Well, when we it's right, it's right. Yeah. And, and everybody's right. going to agree. Exactly. Yeah. But when it's when it's not right, it's always good to have that different opinion of somebody who's going to give you an honest opinion right. one way or the other. And uh, so that's fantastic, which I want to I want to speak to you for a second. And I'll tell you a little bit about this guy for those for those of you. He's the kind of the other half of this dynamic duo. This is Jimmy Miller. Uh, now, this guy is actually how I came to discover AR Workshop. So Jimmy and I. I have known each other for 33 years. Oh. Played football together at Broadmoor Middle Lane High School. Go Bucks! Go Bucks! Baby. Uh, and having been around Jimmy all of those years, one thing I can say is, if there's ever someone, ever someone that was a natural leader, it's this guy right mm -hmm. here. Well, I appreciate yeah. that. Uh, so to tell the viewers more about you, I'm gonna tell about you because I know about you. you are, I don't need you to tell about you. Uh, to tell tell the viewers a little more about you, you were the leader of our middle school football team we lost like one game in two years uh we went to high school you lettered as a freshman by the time you were finished you were one of the leaders of the Baltimore high bucks that led them to the quarterfinals twice semifinals once and the birth in the state championship game senior year 1992 uh in the classroom you were a leader having graduated with honors uh and just she doesn't believe that. Yeah. I, I tell you. <laughs> oh, he was smart. He's still is. He still is. Still right, still right, right. Right. So just because your leadership skills you felt probably weren't sharp enough, you decided to enroll in the Marine Corps mm -hmm. and uh, you serve are. your country. Mm -hmm. Black Sheep Creative understands the importance of digital marketing and your return on your investment. It's their aim to provide professional web and graphic design services at a price point that smaller businesses and startups can afford. Get in touch with them on the web at blacksheepcreative.com. 
So I say all that to say this. Leaders make an impact, even when they don't know they're doing it. One of my favorite quotes is, leaders don't create followers, they create leaders. Okay, so in a, I have a distinct example of this. Yeah, I hadn't told you this story yet. We were probably about 16 maybe. And I don't even recall the gist of what we were talking about, but I'll never forget the words you said to me. You said to me, I'm an individual. I'm not a follower. Now, in those days, much unlike these days, I was shy. But that impact that that single sentence I had, I carry to this day because I knew it was okay to be me. That's right. You That's understand? Right. That's right. That was huge. That's right. For me. Awesome. So you weren't done yet, though, with me, were you, Jimmy? <laughs> many years later, many years later, I was a young sales rep working for a paint manufacturer. Now, we had the best product, the best service, but we kind of struggled to get our name out there. Yet again, you influenced me in a positive way by building your personal training business to enormous heights by doing what no one at that time was doing. You were using Facebook for business. That taught me a lesson. It taught me that I could compete with the world by copying you. <laughs> so I copied you. I copied you to a T, built my territory to astronomical heights, and primarily because of the lessons you taught me, because you didn't even know you were doing it. That's what made you a leader. You led me and didn't even know it. It's been a long time coming, but I really am honored to sit across from you and say thank you for that. Well, the honor's mine, my man, and and to be able to, uh, you know, to to you know pay it pay it back as you say that you know that you didn't have to, that you have us here is uh, it means the world to us and it means the world to me. You know, and I'm so proud of everything that you've done and what I've seen that you've done, and I'm not going to take any credit for that. But it is phenomenal what you've evolved to, man. I'll tell you what, wow. you know, what you've that. evolved to. And, and that whole thing, that really, I re out of all of it, I love the, that you felt like you could be yourself because I feel like yeah. in life, if you can't be yourself, you know, and not everybody's going to like it, and that's okay. As long as you treat people how you want to be treated, which is the most important thing. But if you treat people how you want to be treated and you want to be yourself, and somebody's got a problem with that, then you don't need to be around them anyways, you know? Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, um, you know, it really makes me feel great that I was part of that, well, you know, part of that path. But at the same time, you had the, um, the intuition or the instincts or whatever to follow it. And so many people I feel in business and just in life that they discard peer influence in a positive way, meaning like, Somebody, because you have a peer, somebody your age or in the same thing, you're not going to do the things, even if they're successful, just out of spite because you don't want to give them the credit or you don't want to make them feel like, you know, well, they can take credit for what I've done, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I think so much of what people uh, disregard as far as business and, and things is, is what your peers are already doing. Yeah. And just like you said, just, just simulate them. Just. You know, That's exactly you, you what just, I, I mean, did. Don't reinvent the wheel. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But you, you, it's working for somebody. You, you have very good vision. And that's that's a, a huge quality, and I, you know, y'all will carry that in this business, and and it's I'm happy to see that because you have, you need somebody with that yeah. to uh, to really build it. But you're a leader, man, and you well, made me a leader along the well, way. Well, and look, hey, you're, I just, you're I'm glad I'm a leader, man. Yeah, hey, you're on there. You. Hey, again, it's it's uh, you know, it's one of those things where you look at, you know, uh, when I just talk about you know fate or just part of that path where you know things were supposed to happen the way they should, yeah. you know, you know, where they say everything happens for a reason. I, I, I like to say everything happens the way it should, because sometimes I, I can't really see the reason, but things happen the way it, it should. should. And yeah. anyways, uh, life like, yeah, comes full circle. It does. It does. And just being, and like I said, and, and being able to come on here. And, and when I saw you doing this and I watched the first couple of the episodes and I was just like, man, Jimmy, I was saying he is killing it. Just your, you could tell the research you've done, just your, the the whole um the the um the, the production of everything you know it just well, there was nothing, nothing oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, again you get you get the, you know well enough to say 
I can't do it all by myself, but I'm gonna get the best people I know to help That's me. right. That's you know? right. And that's I can what see it's, that's what, what you're it's done. all about. Yeah. It's and the guest and they and they make it easy for me because they all have stories, uh, including you, you great folks. So in relation to all that, one more question for you, because you're you're kind of a natural born marketer and promoter. Um how important do you think that is for a new business to promote and market their business it, it, effectively? You, you've got to just do it almost at an obscene level, yeah. you know, and almost to where it just it's it's and she and she's good about because. Uh, did I say it right? Obscene? Yeah, no. yeah, no, I, I agree with that. At an obscene level, it's very obscene. almost an embarrassing level of self promotion. Yeah, to where again, you know, with with the old, you know, you have to think because I didn't want to really say, you know, we talk about the old training business. I didn't really want. I, I used to look at people that would put their names on stuff. You know, Jim, something, this and that. You know, this guy. You know, uh, I don't know, whatever it is put their names and their faces all over everything, you know, and there's like certain people here that do a lot of that. Sure. But the thing is, is I looked at that, but then when I learned through remarkable people in advertising that if you've established your name and your face as that business, that you got to put it because that's the only only way people know you're branding yourself, yes. you're branding yourself. And that's what I did for 20 years. And then when I wanted to call my personal training business, something completely different. You know, I had a client like, what are you doing? This is insane. I don't even know. I look at the name of this business and I don't even know that it has anything to do with fitness or anything to you. And I said something about my website being Jimmy Miller Fit Pro. And she goes, what is wrong with that? Jimmy Miller, it's who you are, Fit Fit Pro, you know? And she's like, you're an insane. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and definitely. You know, yeah. And you so have realtors figured name. that out a long yeah. time ago. Absolutely. And a lot of people didn't. That's what I'm saying, you know? And, and that's where I would, I would like maybe go, oh, why is this guy? He's so conceited. But it wasn't it wasn't it, it wasn't a vain thing. And if it is, that's fine, too. But the, most people that out there doing that type of market put their names on something is because that's what people know. Yeah. People know that person. People know that face. And it's not a vain thing. They just put it together with that. And so you have to go with that, you I know. Agree. And so I think as a as a business, as a small business, you can't. And then, like I was telling you about um, referrals, you know, once I got my personal training business to where. I only was were taking referrals. Like if I if a client moved on, I'd have two more in the wings waiting to be to come on and train with me. And they were, you know, recommended by another another client. And I got to a point where that is. But even to that point, I still didn't stop any of the promotion. And you can't. No. You still gotta put it out there because again, and especially in today's uh, business world with social media. Yeah. It's all about consistency uh, and consistency and, yes, and also and what you're paying frequency. really mm -hmm. the frequency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, you can't leave it up to uh, anything. You've got to cover it all. Agreed. You've mm -hmm. got to cover it all. Agreed. Now, Miss Kelly. Yes. So you finally opened those doors yes. seven weeks ago. Yes. And you introduce AR workshop to the area. Uh, because this is the very first AR workshop in Louisiana, I want to familiarize everybody with the process that I personally think streamlines everything, makes it easy, uh, you know, for the millions and millions of viewers watching right now. Uh -huh. Millions. <laughs> Trust I me. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Where would they start? They are going to start online. Really, our website is where all of the information lives, the schedule for um, our workshops is going to be online, social media as well. We do have an Instagram. We do have a Facebook at AR Workshop Baton Rouge. Um, but the website is going to be where um, clients will go to register for whatever date they want to come in. Um, we typically will publish a month's worth of workshops at a time with different sort of themes on different days. Um, and within that workshop, they will then decide what type of project they want to make. For example, if it's a wood workshop, do they want to make a framed sign? Do they want to make a plank sign, pet bed, serving tray, blanket ladder? I mean, there's a million options just within the wood workshop. And then once you pick the type of project, then you choose the type of design that you want. And when I say there's hundreds and hundreds of designs, I mean, there are so many things to choose from. There's, you know, state and city specific designs there Regional. are um lots of you know monograms and and name designs there's wedding there's holidays there's pet i mean there's something for everybody um and it's not all one design style it's not going to be all like farmhouse or rustic or 
country but i mean there's literally something for everybody it's almost overwhelming and you're looking through it i mean it could be but it's, it's not in a, in it's a good way in a good way yeah, right i mean for, in a good yes way, it's it's there, really fun and um every time you look it's like you go and you're going to make this but then you see what you want to make next time you come in which is right. really cool. Absolutely. yeah yeah i mean there's that's happened to me yeah <laughs> right, exactly right i mean like, i want to make that right <laughs> it's really right. yeah i mean there's literally that was part of what attracted me to it because i i will admit i'm a little bit I don't always want something homemade looking, you know, on display in, in the house. And what I really love about what we do is that it's so foolproof. I mean, you are going to leave with something that looks professional. It looks great. And you're going to love putting it in your house or giving it as a gift. But the process is is so much fun and you get to do it yourself all the way from, you know, choosing the design and the colors. And then, you know, if there's you know, nailing or stapling or, you know, using a drill or whatever it is, you get to do all of that too. Yep. And so it just makes it really fun. And you get that little, like, Hey, I did yeah, that myself. You yeah. know, look what I'm, look that, what I made. We all turn into like elementary school kids. Like I made this yeah. and it's so fun. I so, was like that. I, yeah. Look, I made some, look, the ornaments, top quality. <laughs> so cute. Yeah. Top quality. Yeah. Oh, so, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so it is because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not an artist. Yeah, you know, no, we have I'm amazing friends from it. and people yeah. in this region that are amazing artists. You know, have amazing pieces that you could go and uh, and buy. You know, yeah. and but but with this again, this is just. But not everybody, you know, can you know can do do that or or, or even has just, a desire as a desire to do it. They exactly, want to play exactly. Wood. exactly. You know? right. And um, where do you start? And this is here. It just it yeah. kind of just allows you know somebody that. You know, never figured they'd have that opportunity right. to give them that opportunity. Without having to buy all the equipment and That's the colors right. and the stuff. I mean, you could spend a million dollars just getting ready to make your project you know, Absolutely. before you even know if that's something you want to do yeah you know at home <laughs> so this gets well, <laughs> yeah, right. exactly yeah, i have too that. i've done that too so um yeah this just gives you an opportunity and there's and again it's you know men love it women love it we've got plenty of options for kids so i mean there's it's really a fun family place i mean you just can't get there's no doubt about it. And, uh, you know, I've been on your website and you can go and you hit calendar. And the good thing is you've got like a month out. Yeah. So you can plan it. You, you know, it's not it. like, OK, this is what we're doing today and tomorrow. And then check with us in two days and we'll show you the next two days. Right. right. You've got a month there that you can plan something, uh, uh, in, you know, as these individual project days are released and and uh, and those sorts of things. So you you pick a let's say you. You pick a date and uh, it is um, uh, a woodworking shop class and, and you enroll in it at that point so you can actually enroll online? You can. You will um, register, what we call it, register online. And from there, um, it just walks you through the steps of picking your project and then your design, any specifics, notes. We can do custom designs um, with, you know, a little bit of lead time. We, we can do custom designs for you. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it walks you all the way through the I process. I love that, yeah. too, because one of the things with enrolling, you know, when I think of going somewhere new, I don't know the wait time. I don't know. I mean, am I going to show up and I'm going to have to wait for the next class? Or it's almost like you're booking your spot. You're booking so your you spot. Know, exactly. when, you know, when you enroll, the, yes. they, you've got a seat you've got a for seat. that person. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way you yeah. walk in at that time and you're in. That's right. That's a, yep. that's a, you're in. That's a good thing. Yes. And, and a big perk. I love that about that business. Uh, now, you can to many types of clientele um do you offer group events we do offer group events you can um, book private parties on site um you know whether it be a child's birthday party again a team building event for your company or mm -hmm. you know if you've got a girls night that you want to host um we can do or men's night or men's sorry or men's <laughs> night i apologize yes. <laughs> um, the dudes <laughs> need a spot to hang to um you know so yes you can do that we've got a couple of different options you can um reserve the whole space and just make it exclusively for your party or if you just want to make sure that you have one or two tables within the workshop but you don't mind other people being in the the class as well then that's an option too um so yeah we can even go on site we actually have an event coming up on the 17th of december we're going on site to do um we're expecting that's maybe 50 people 50. Yeah, so um, you know, we've got options to come to you, which makes it yeah, even that's easier. Really cool. right. We've got virtual options. If you aren't comfortable getting out in a group just yet, you know, we can 
send the kits to your house and then um, your whole group can get on a Zoom call and we can lead a, a workshop that way. Um, or you can do do-it-yourself kits at home without even having to get on a group. So, I mean, we have so many options. I know I kind yeah, of went on a tangent, events, but yeah, we've got so many options. Bridal shower. Yes, one bridal shower. One of the things I thought of, home, you know, homeschooling is getting obviously more and more popular, especially with COVID. And uh, what would be better than to get a group of homeschoolers together and they all go to air or workshop and, and get some art credits? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that we've actually, we've talked a lot about that. Um, you know, and again, we're still so new that we're trying to, to you know, get with a lot of these different groups and kind of figure out who to talk to and how to get in there. But Um, we have so many fun options for kids. Yeah, good. No. I'm relying on that. Um, I'm relying on that. But yeah, I mean, we have we did a, a little day camp during the Thanksgiving break. We had three days with um, kids camps while they were out of school. And we'll do that again over the Christmas okay. holiday um, summer good. camps we do. Um, so, I mean, it, it is it's a really fun way to have something for your kids to do when they're not in school or if they're homeschooled and you just need you know, some art credits or you want to have a place for them to come hang out for a few hours in the day. Um, and then you can drop them off. You don't have to stay. You can go run some errands or get a little, you know, coffee break in um, while your kids are making some cool stuff and they love it. Well, and you even offer things like date nights. Date nights. <laughs> well, we have look, one coming up. Let me tell you, it's hard to get a dude in most cases to get a, like a cork and canvas. They'll go maybe one time, but you tell them, hey, we're going to paint. We're going to make projects today. We got we're some drills. Drills. You got some yeah. Yeah. We got some we, You're going to make a project. Nail guns. Yes. Right. Most right. guys are going to be all in. Yeah. Uh, and so that's something that really separates your business is that it's appealing to both sexes. Right. Uh, and so I want to show people kind of some of these projects and let them get an idea of what they are. You brought some stuff with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I don't know if somebody can grab that. Maybe, oh, maybe Jimmy, if you can. Can, you can do Thank that. You. We'll just talk about you while you're gone. Yeah. You do that. <laughs> right here. And what would y'all like first? That, what, whatever y'all think. That would be great. Coming in. Yeah, that'll be perfect. You wanna, so yeah, what, yeah, what, yeah, what yeah. would we call that? This we call a porch sign. This is a I, 12 by 48 <laughs> unframed porch sign is specifically what that's called. Happy holidays. And, uh, yep. we'll watch this, watch and what is cool. That, yep. What? Oh, double sided. Double, yep. double side. So, I mean, we have um, the option to do that's one cute. side in a class. Um, every now and then we'll do a specialty class where, you know, you can do both sides. It's just a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, typically, a workshop's going to be about three hours start to finish. Um, the double sided, you know, maybe three and a half. Um, yeah, I mean, and we've got canvas projects. We've got wall hangings. We've got pillowcases. This is just one of the tote bags. We actually did this. Um, for one of the kids' camps, they did tote bag designs, That's which is really awesome. cute. And I mean, they're like legit, like heavy. Do you like you can use it? It's not gonna fall apart tomorrow. Um, mm. Speaking of men, love actually, that. Yeah. love that. And our sort of pre-grand opening friends and family party, um, we had a a guy. Jeff, Jeff Ross, a shout out, Rosie. To, Jeff yes, Rosie. Rosie. Rosie, yes, made that. Did a little little. Um, Technique on the silver to make it look like a saw blade. Yeah, yeah. that looks so, that yeah, really, I mean, really good. Actually, you can, yeah, you killed it. And yeah. if you're not artistically inclined, we've got assistants at every table that can help you with color with suggestions. Models. Or um, because not everybody in the workshop is going to be doing the same project, that's part of she what's made cool this about last it. Night. Last night. Now, what do they call those? This is called a chunky knit blanket. Chunky. Thank you, <laughs> chunky knit blanket. These can I tell you? These classes have been so popular people are loving it and i get it because these are um i mean you can make it in a night which is super cool i mean i did this one because i wanted an lsu colors one um so i did this one last night yeah. or local leaders colors or local oh that's right or local i know sorry <laughs> purple and gold um it's so pretty together yeah, and um yeah i mean people are loving it and they're so cozy they're you know, fun to give as gifts and, um, you know. Yeah, my wife just, went by yeah. and, like, touched yeah. one last week I and mean, she's like, those yeah, things are so legit. They're like legit warm. The kids project, but the string art. 
Yeah. Love so, that. So, yeah, it's just a stencil-based wood project, but then we've got a little string art part to it, which is really fun. Um, this is a 10 by 10. We do it 12 by 16 as well. Um, I know I'm starting to be a person that can tell you what size the wood is. With yeah. Just looking at it, I've never been that person before. So, yeah. Well, there's a it, there's a ton of things. Yeah, Obviously, this is so... just, folks, the the tip of the iceberg. Yes, there, exactly. There are a ton of things, uh, but there's something for everybody. There basically. is literally something for everybody. And again, what is cool about it, as opposed to maybe like a cork and canvas, not everybody in the workshop is going to be doing the same project or the same design. So um, it's. That's kind of part of what's fun. You get to see what somebody else is doing, see how cool they're they're making a tray and you're making a frame right. sign. And so you're like, oh, you know, what would be cool is that tray would look so good on my island or my mom's been looking for one of those and Mother's Day is coming up. Let me make one of those for her. I mean, and there it's just it's yeah, it's the really guests fun. kind of inspire one another. Yeah. You know? I mean, you I know, still get you know. so every time I'm I'm at a workshop, I love it. There's always, you know, because we get to see when people register. Um, and I'm always like, what are they going to do? And it's always so fun to see everyone's interpretation of a design, you know, that I've seen a lot maybe over, you know, the last several months just getting prepped, but I've never seen it done in that way. They like put a little spin on it that I wouldn't have thought of. And I just, I get yeah. uh, so fun every time. Well, I'll tell you, uh, uh, a lot of uh, a good percentage of the people that listen to this show uh just because i I've, I've, i know a lot of them are realtors and uh so i was playing around on the website and i came across uh realtor closing gifts yeah. <laughs> There's like a million, and they are all awesome. Uh, so all you realtors out there, yes. this would be a great place to make your closing gifts, or you can even just order them pre-made. Yeah, that is part of what we do for um, realtor closing gifts. For um, Really, for any of our projects, you can, if you don't want to come make it yourself or you don't have time to do it, all you have to do is place the order again from the website, and we'll make it for you. Um, we'll talk to you about what you want um, color-wise and design-wise, and we'll make it for you in a couple of days, and you can come pick it up yeah i mean they got the welcome home signs they've got frame signs they've got a dress pillows yes. uh all these kind of things they, y'all even make sold signs for right. for realtors put in front of their house we have signs Pretty that you awesome. can put out in an open house that are really cute um so it's not just for closing gifts we've got some stuff you can use you know yourself I love it. I love it. I think that's a great niche right there. But all of the things that you have there, we actually, I I can speak from experience. I was there last week. We did Christmas ornaments. And these were, these were one of the more simpler projects. Thank goodness uh, for me. Um, But we made these Christmas ornaments and uh, I am no artist when it comes to that. I'm good at painting walls and stuff, but I can, you know, you get into projects. It's a little tough for me. Um, But I'll tell you what i look like a pro when i was done i'm very proud of my ornament i stuck it way up on the christmas tree almost to the top and <laughs> yeah. should, right? That's right. my wife's definitely looked better but uh you know mine was a close second i remember that little purple now so one of the cool things is that you do take-home projects yeah. so you don't have to people out there all my listeners uh go in and if you don't have three hours to spend you can get them to go you can bring them home and you can do something with the family maybe maybe your kids are younger you don't want to bring them out but uh but you do offer show you should kind of hold those up yeah. and we'll show the camera those we've got um these are our prepackaged ornament kits this is um the i you can't really see the pictures are pretty small but these no, are I'll like the round up, okay though, the one round one. wood slices and then we've got some what they're calling uh-huh. traditional um square um wood ornaments and again it, there's six different themes within each type of ornament and um it comes with everything that you need from wood to stencils to paint and sponges and sandpaper and even yeah, the the, the really ribbon fun. and twine to hang they're it really on your fun. tree it's all in this little box it, you know the interesting thing about the diy to go and this is what blew me away yep. when we were about to move here we had already been to the corporate training and like I said, I was really impressed when she brought everything to me and she's like, what do you think about it? I was like, yeah. and then when we went to the corporate training, when I saw how everything operated, when I saw um, just the uh, the intensity, I just saw the, 
the 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 passion, the, the passion absolutely the passion <laughs> and the uh attention to detail yes. and just these uh, amazing people women okay working <laughs> and just on point i was just blown away so um when covid hit mm -hmm. and everything started to slow down and we were just about to move yeah. and one of the uh owners of the franchise mm -hmm. on the message board mm -hmm. on the online had an idea about the DIY to go literally watched within a week, five mm -hmm. days, mm -hmm. this company come up with this whole process of projects small enough that you could pick it out, pick the paint, pick the sand, pick the stain, pick the color, pick the design, and then put it in a bag. And then we will have it ready for you. You pull up at the door, boom. Five days. Five days. Yeah. They had the promotion. So they had the yeah. marketing. They had everything. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's what a bunch of women are doing for mean, you. Know, right? you, you get stuff done. You get them motivated. Right. It's all when they, they said, when everybody's like, oh, you know, nobody's coming. We're about to be shut down. They were like, okay, how about DIY to go? And <laughs> yeah. then it's evolving. Now yeah. you got to, you know. Well, now I mean, just it's, taken yeah, it. it's a fantastic just, idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And Especially it's, in these times. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. It's, uh, so to have that kind have of support. corporate support right. where they're not going to leave you out there to fend for yourself. Huge. You know, well, which I mean, I know it. What's cool is they own and run and go into their workshops every day, too. Yeah. So they see what's going on. They're not sitting in their offices, not in right. the trenches anymore. So they, they know they're what the problems trenches. were. They're the first ones on the phone with the vendors. They're the first one, you know, so, I mean, they're 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 quick to to offer support and they did not have DIY to go. That was not a thing before March of this year, wow. um, you know, right yeah, as we were, like I said, getting ready to pack up to move here and panic was just about to set in because it was like, what are we going to do? This is brand new DIY to go. I mean, I didn't even have to have my brick and mortar ready before I, and yeah. I could yeah. do this. And you, you were know? probably sitting there the whole time. That's no problem. Oh, yeah. No problem. Which is well, good because well, 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 I'm yeah. thinking of all the things that are about to go wrong yeah. and he's telling me, you know, well, it's all going to be fine. Bounce so, yeah. Well, Exactly. I, I've got a, I've I got a little, little man. story, you know. Um, well, that when she there was a like I said, there was a couple of moments like I feel like anybody opening up uh, a sizable business or whatever, you know, trying to trying to do do something on a significant level. You're going to have those moments where you're just like, what am I doing? You know, what is going You know, where and she was having one of those moments and she was just, you know, and I said, well, let me ask. You. I said, what's. I said, what's the worst thing that could happen? Right. What's, what if we do this? What is the, if we go all in, what's the worst thing that could happen? You were probably like, homeless. I was like, <laughs> yeah. we'd have she to goes, get we jobs lose again. Everything. She goes, we lose everything. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if we lose, lost everything and go back, whatever. And I said, mm -hmm. so great. We'll, then we'll start over. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I said, I mean, you know, sometimes when you lose everything, you're free to do anything. I mean, right. But this is, the fact yes. of the matter was, is that if that's the worst that could happen, Right. You know, and granted, we are in a position where we don't really have a lot of people dependent on us. I mean, yes. You know, yeah. You know, uh, 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 you know, mouths to feed and things like that, other than, you know, a dog and two cats, <laughs> which they're important, too. Yeah. We got to feed them, too. But right. my, my point was, is that, hey, you know, if you don't and like her brother also told her, he said, you know, you've got to take a chance on yourself sometimes and you've got to go all in. And then yeah. you can't you can't worry about the worst that could happen because if it does but yeah, at least yeah. you gave it everything you had that's right you know and of course you don't want to go into a felon i knew she wouldn't no and i knew at this I certain point she wasn't like right things. exactly <laughs> and she wasn't and i knew if again if something shut it all down then again it wasn't meant to be but I never no, did, no. you know. No, it's going nowhere. But uh, I mean, when I was there, it was a revolving door, yeah. and and uh, P, you know, your location is great. Yeah, it's phenomenal. You're kind of, kind of, I guess you could say, by Blue Bayou uh, yeah, Water across, Crossing, yeah. but it's, it's old Highland, Perkins. Is it's it? it's Perkins at Highland um, Highland Park Marketplace, <laughs> um, right across the street from Blue Bayou. Yeah, it's a yeah. great great yeah. location. It's a great brand location. new great uh, shopping center right. there, mm -hmm. and uh, well, and that was really all the only, that. that was yeah. Only, I, she said I found the location yeah. one day and I was like, great. Where? And I was like, okay, you know, and then it really, basically she didn't, she really never looked at anything. No, else. I knew I, even though it was new build out and new construction and I knew it was going to be a while before it was ready. I knew it was the right place. <laughs> great choice. Yeah. Great choice. Now, yeah. do you offer like a customer loyalty program? of any We type? do. You we do. do. Yeah, <laughs> we do. We have, um, we have loyalty cards and um, you come for, when you come for five workshops, 
after that, the sixth workshop essentially should be free. Um, the way it works is we take an average of the um, price of your five previous workshops and um, you get that amount off of your six. So awesome. in theory, it should be free. Um, so, yeah. And that's I mean, that's not that many times we are. We have people that are almost at five already and we've been open seven weeks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, right. it's awesome. you know, so we appreciate their, no. we're, 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 that. we're yeah. okay with that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We appreciate that loyalty. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. You're talking about word, Pat, you talk about words, loyalty. Yes. You know, that's, that's huge. You know, yeah. it's huge. Employee in business loyalty, especially, business, you know, uh, um, guest loyalty. So you also, you also, uh, you know, you, you have these employees, we talked about this earlier and, uh, how important they are to a business, you know, especially when you own your own business. Business, they are the business your employees can yes, make they, or break you right. real fast i was ultra impressed with yours and you said they had some experience uh t- talk to me a little bit about that um yes well my manager again grace um she and i knew each other from high school and she again is a very talented artist um musician. she is a musician she and her husband are both musicians very talented i mean she's just multifaceted talented and she's beautiful to look at and her personality is dynamite i mean she and she's a leader and she's yeah and she's a leader and she balances me out i'm i have a yeah, good balance absolutely. here but i'm a little more introverted i'm a little more hesitant to get on camera social media she is like the, be the one after yeah this. yeah she's i know <laughs> right be everywhere exactly yeah but she's the one that's like let's get a picture let's get a video so she is yeah. um yeah she's so great and um she had um worked at a similar type place before and just timing wise it worked out that she was available and um it's just been a dynamite partnership i really rely on her a lot and um just staff wise i mean we have gotten i i won't call us lucky because i feel like we just made some really smart choices um with but with you know i mean stacy and mallory and cameron and scotty and caroline and Lori. i mean it's just been it's been it's been great with you um, yeah with your can Miss Miss John, I still call her Miss Johnson. Yes, because I told her I said I'll always call you Miss Johnson. Thirty year retired art teacher from Broadmoor at the same school. I mean, come on, yeah, yeah, you know, yep. She retired I mean, in March, lucky. and timing March. just worked out. And she is ex- lo- loves coming in, and she gets to be a little artistic still, but none of the the management of kids, yeah, <laughs> right. anymore. Yeah, but that's so, right. You know, which I um, understand yeah. So world, I mean, it's you know. it's just fun. It's it's but a yet, fun her place still to be. Students come in and see her. Yeah. From, oh, yeah. I mean, from even when we were there. Yeah. 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 And it's, you know, it's huge. It's it's uh, employees. Like I said, they can make or break you. And y'all have some impressive ones over there. Yeah. They're the most important thing when you walk into a new business is to feel welcome. Right. And uh, and it, I know I can speak for both of, of us, my, me and my wife, when I say that we walked in and everybody was nice. Everybody was patient with me. I'm I'm a little AD, ADD sometimes. So uh, oh, no, no, <laughs> they're no. very patient good. with me, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, and I was very impressed with them Good, so thank you. Yes, thank you. That on I'll pass that on too. they'll be we yes because that is very important to me yeah so with uh with every episode I like to do fun facts kind of William Waldrop of TWFG insurance in Denham Springs can service all of your insurance needs offering auto life health, and commercial insurance, William Waldrop of TWFG Insurance is a proud supporter of Local Leaders, the podcast. Based off of whatever the subject is that I'm talking about. Now, you are a female business owner, and that needs to be uh, recognized. And this has become more and more common these days. You know, when, Kelly, not a million years ago, women couldn't even vote. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't even vote. I know. Sure. It's and now class, they're owning classes. businesses insane, yeah. and probably doing it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you a little fun fact about that. But in a lot of cases, they do it better than men. I, I agree um, with that. Which is uh, <laughs> I would agree which is that. not surprising to me. I, I think that women are more detail oriented than men are in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, I agree, except for me and Jimmy, of I course. Know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, Forbes came out with uh, uh, with the top 
100 female business owners based off of their net worth. And I was I was pretty pretty shocked to find find out who some of these women were. Now when I think of that, I think of Oprah Winfrey. She has to be number 1, right? Believe it or not, she's not. She's number 4 on that list. Of course she owns O Magazine and is a, a media mogul right. and her net worth sits around 3 billion, that's a B, mm-hmm. dollars a year. <laughs> But number six on that list, we'll skip around a little bit, is is Marion Litch. She is the co-founder of Little Caesars. Uh, Two point two billion. Okay. Yeah. Um, who you would never guess who the number one is? It's not anybody from the uh, from the from the Walton Sam's. No. Nope. Um, Nope, because this is this is actual. Uh, well, they do actually own it, um, but this is uh, this. It's not them, but it's someone y'all are familiar with. When I say it, the co founder of abc catalog okay and supply so uh-huh. the abc uh-huh. catalog yep. diane hendrix mm-hmm. number one at 3.7 billion dollars i wow. think my wife has spent over three <laughs> right. billion in abc <laughs> yes. you know about that don't you casey uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah three you uh-huh. know that's but I would have never guessed no. of all people, uh, the ABC catalog lady. That's wild. Uh, That's uh, impressive. 3.7 I love billion. It. So, so you never hear that. that. You're going to be on I that mean, list we're one close. day. We're putting you. <laughs> we're, yeah. We're probably <laughs> right just a, just a few more zeros there. Right? Second place, probably. <laughs> the AR ladies will be know. there. I'm telling oh, you. Yeah, well, yeah. Look out. Look, look for the. Yeah. Anderson Ruff. It's yeah. In. They're, yeah. They're, coming, they're coming up. Great branding. And uh, you, you ought to be very proud of, of, of your business. And I know you are. And I can see that. And I can see your passion. And uh, and I think you're doing a great job. Thanks. She really is. So <laughs> phenomenal. Tell, we already told everybody where they can find you physically. But uh, give me give me your website and where they go on Facebook. All right. To, Hi, uh, man. Find this you. is you. Who's your department? My department, <laughs> AR Workshop AR on Facebook. Workshop. ARWorkshop.com. Yeah. ARWorkshop.com backslash Baton Rouge. You got it. Yep. Dot yep. com. They got yeah. a beautiful no. website. <laughs> yeah. It's it's uh right. it's actually very user friendly. You can click on it to get that calendar like mm-hmm. we talked that, about to book schedule. a class, mm-hmm. the schedule your project. Yeah. I'll be there uh date night coming up. Yes, uh I don't Saturday. remember the exact date, but I'll be there. Saturday. And uh so all of my listeners, y'all show up and uh Dude, we and all if, make and stuff if together. People forget about the town that we're in, just in case, just go to ARworkshop.com. Yep. Go to locations. Hit Baton Rouge. And we're the only one. We're the only one, baby. And 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 believe it or not, this man sitting across from me is actually a Springfield boy. (laughs) So he's a Livingston Parish boy from more. Right. From uh, second grade to uh, eighth, well, to seventh grade. And then we always had a place out there down Blood River Road. Yeah. For for the longest time, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, so I'm I'm just excited that I have both of y'all here. Jimmy, did you have fun today? I had a blast, bro, and I really did. And I wasn't surprised, and I'm not surprised. But yeah, <laughs> I had a great time. And really, Jimmy, you have no idea what it means for us for to us for you to have us on here. Well, we it, truly was, it was really it. my and pleasure. And you and your wife could come and support us and. Yes. And get your listeners to support us, and Absolutely. we won't disappoint. I no, promise. no, they won't. And you'll have a great time. Yeah. Trust me, because we want the people. It really was important for us to come back to, to home, and you know, her be Scotlandville man. Don't, don't yeah. forget, I'm, you know, yeah. nerd, Eagles, I know. I'm like, <laughs> nerd, I like smart girl. Yeah, right. uh, you know, but uh, but uh, to come back home and 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 to do this here, and uh, mm-hmm. and and to our friends, our community, and we wouldn't, you know, and we want to be part of the rest of the evolution of this area. BJ Pawn and Gun has been servicing the Livingston Parish community since 1990. If you need it, there's a good chance BJ Pawn has it. So go see them in Denham Springs. They're a proud sponsor of Local Leaders, the podcast. You yeah, know, you know, we want to be part of it. And you it means will a lot be. to us. You will be. And I think I people think come support us. And we won't. We won't. We won't let them down. Look, and and once we grow that one, we'll move right over here to we'll LP. Be for Put one right there. Right. On Location Avenue. two. Location two. <laughs> the only ones that can do it. I love it. That's right. Um, 
Obviously, I want to thank McHugh David for engineering this awesome episode. I want to thank Clint Sanchez of Black Sheep Creative for transforming my newly transformed website. I'm linking it to this episode episode also, so check it out. Miss Casey McMurray, who is in my background right now, she's my executive producer for keeping me in line. No easy task. Kelly Webster and Jimmy Miller of AR Workshop for joining me on Local Leaders and all you viewers and listeners for your support. Folks, we did it again. We made Podcast Magazine's Hot 50 for the second time in three months. Impressive. Please keep spreading the word. We appreciate that. Thank you to all my sponsors. I could not do any of this without all of you. If you're interested in sponsoring Local Leaders of the Podcast or appearing on the show, please reach out to executive producer Casey McMurray at Casey at LocalLeadersOfPodcast.com and she will give you all the information you need. Please follow me on social media and subscribe to my completely free YouTube at Local Leaders of the Podcast. Until next time, I am Jim Chapman reminding you to love your community, support local business, and keep leading.